Hi guys, it's Sweetie Pie and welcome back to my channel. This is what happens when it is 6.30 at night and you're losing sun and your lights aren't always amazing and you're really wanting to get shot my stash done. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you? If you're new, subscribe to my channel. Hi, I'm Sweetie Pie. This look was done today with the Kat Von D um, 10th year anniversary palette, if you were wondering. <laughs> and yeah, if you've never been to one of my Shop My Stashes, I will leave a timestamp right here to where my actual Shop My Stash starts for this week. The first thing I always do is just kind of go through really quickly the eyeshadow palettes I used, the, you know, foundation, how it was, yada, yada, yada. Check my Instagram if you are one of my beloved subscribers and actually would like to see how these products worked out together during the week because I do a look of the day every day. Holy moly. All right, let's get into Shop My Stash, and I hope you guys have a wonderful Shop My Stash. Do not forget to comment and let me know if there is, like, a product that you want me to use, whatever, a product you've never seen and you want it reviewed, you want me to tell you about it, say it in the comments, and I will discuss it Discuss it in next week's Shop My Stash. All right, guys, let's get into this video. All right, guys, so the first two things, if you're here, hi, how are you? I'm so happy that you want to hear about what I got for this week's shot mustache and how I felt about it, or last week's, I should say. The first thing I got was the Cap on D 10 year anniversary palette. Oh my gosh, her artwork is beautiful. The palette is pretty nice. I did, I'm going to put up a get ready with me using this palette tomorrow and it's this look. It'll be up tomorrow. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. The next thing I also got, and I am on a low buy, I knew for a fact I was getting this, but of course I looked in the sales section and I found this and this, I am, I'm not buying anything for a while, but this is amazing. I got a sample of this. This is the Cover Effects Contour Kit. It is their cream contour kit. This is so much better than the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I'm going to do a full review on both of them and show you on one side. It's just, I think this one's better. This one is more warm toned, but this is in the medium neutral. And it is a little bit like, it's not, it's just a tiny bit red, I guess, but I do like it quite a bit, so. Anyway, the next two things I have are those two palettes that I brought in before I got the Saint and Sinner and the 10th Anniversary, and it is the Zulu palette and the Masquerade Mini. I did do a couple looks with these, and I love these palettes. I love Juvia's Place Shadows. I want a completely green palette with all mattes and like two shimmers. I want a completely purple palette with all mattes and just a couple shimmers. That's what I would love. Oh, if they did singles, I'd be buying them up. But they're all shimmers, and I don't really see a lot of mattes in their singles, so that's the reasoning. But for this week, and I'm just going to say this now, but I will say it again for the people that did not stay, I am going to put these two in to next week's, the Saint and Sinner and the 10th Anniversary because I think these are two beautifully accompanying palettes. I used just this last week and I want to throw in this and kind of see what I can create. Anyway, I did use the NYX Ultimate Brights and I think this is good for accompanying shades. So for instance, if you're not expecting a whole ton of pigment out of these and you've got like a really beautiful, for instance, let me go on this palette, the Zulu palette has this beautiful, where is it, this beautiful blue right here. I used this blue and then this one of these greens to kind of mix in the crease and it worked really beautifully because these are just not a, like they're not super super pigmented like they're they're good they're good they're all right I like them better than when I did the review I will say that because I was just trying to use this alone I don't like this alone I like it accompanying better matte shadows so whatever you get out of that. <laughs> I did do a update on my Project Pan stuff because obviously that stuff is still in here. I think I'm going to take out the peach stuff for a while just because my skin's been a little bit weird lately. I don't think it's because of this, but this does have a lot of scent in it. I did do a review on this that will be up this week, but I've been using it for two weeks and I haven't been breaking out or anything. It's just, you know, I want to get to my other stuff and I did spend like three weeks using this stuff. So yeah, 
I just, I want something new. That's what the point of Shop My Stash is, and I'm no longer reviewing it, so I don't have to use it anymore. I'm going to switch in some stuff. Actually, I might keep the peach powder. Yeah, I'm going to keep the peach powder, and these two can go in my stash for new ones. Um, the Artist Couture I'm going to keep in my stash. I'm going to try some more. I'm going to keep trying, as well as the Luminous Silk, and as well as the Evian. I didn't show you guys this, I don't think. I bought one of these. It's it's so refreshing, to be perfectly honest. I know it's just water, but if you want to, like, dampen your beauty blender or dampen a brush or just, like, wet yourself right down because of, like, powderiness, this is not going to give you, like, this is just going to be, like, a spritz of water on the face. And it's also, it doesn't, like, it doesn't create, like, little divots in your makeup. It's just super, super refreshing. And my face is now, like soaked but I was so hot in here today oh um again I really liked this highlighter from Physicians Formula what is this one it's their shimmer strip this is the one no I'm all right okay. this is the one that um oh, what is her name oh goodness uh, Raw Beauty Christy. Uh, I always forget YouTubers' names when I'm asked them, but I never forget them when I'm on, like, you know, typing on YouTube or whatever. It's ridiculous. This is their Shimmer Brick. It is pretty. It's a very, very pretty highlight. It's a little bit chalky sometimes on me if I'm not careful, but it can be very pretty. Um, here, let me try it on. I'm, I don't want to say that it's not a good highlighter. It's just, I find it a little bit... I guess, I don't know. It's beautiful there, like it's beautiful. It's just sometimes, I don't know if it doesn't mix with my skin tone or something. This is the bottom. As you can see, it's a little bit more like goldy. But yeah, I do like this highlighter. It's just, I don't know. I think sometimes when someone you love so much likes something and you don't end up loving it as much as they do, you're like, why? But it is a good highlighter. I really do like it. It's just, I don't know, there's something about it that I find, like, gets me ashy. But it's beautiful. And I think they came with a... Oh, yeah, they did. Look at how cute that is. It's a mirror. They had, like, a weird little brush that was odd. And then they, like, tell you where to put it. It's so cute. I like that. Physicians Formula has the cutest packaging. It is, like, one of those cases, but I never have a problem with that. Um, another thing I'm going to keep in my Milani blush. I'm going to take out my Clinique Cheek Pop. I've been using this and using it and I love it, but I gotta put it back. I gotta put it back. I am going to throw it into a little review probably with the Fenty Gloss Balm, the Fenty Highlighter, and just some little things that I bought, um, at the event as well, at the VIB event. And yeah, guys, I think that is everything. Let's go in to shop my stash. If you guys listen to that wow i'm sorry i was blabbery i know it i'm sorry let's go into this. all right guys you're here down at my desk we are going to use the kat von d 10th year anniversary and the saint and sinner this week i already have that planned i want to review this next week i did it get ready with me but i still want to review it i'm also going to be using the cover effects um this is their oh, what is it it's cream and this one is in neutral medium neutral yeah i love this i've been using it I'm loving it. For mm, for concealer, I think I'm going to throw in the Tarte Maracuja Concealer because I want to see um, a little bit more how this reacts with the peach powder because it's so full coverage. I do love it a lot, but I want to kind of experiment. Um, I don't want any of these because I want to be able to use these palettes together. And for brows, I have my Kat Von D, of course. Um, I should use this brow pencil right here. I'm just looking for another one to see. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to use this. Well, it's a little dark right now, actually. You know what I'm going to do? I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the ColourPop Brow Pomade in Bang & Brunette as my brow and I always use the Kat Von D in the front of my brows. It just looks amazing. I, I just can't help it. <laughs> um, I like an eyeliner this week and I'm trying to think about this, the colors that are in here. Hmm. We're going to take out the Vivid Bright in purple 
And we're also going to take out, oh, this blue one by Essence. This is the cool down. We're going to use that one as well. No pigments for mascara. Um, I think I want to go like really voluptuous with my mascara. I think this is the last week for these ones. This is the Dior, um, oh, what is it? Their show, something show, Dior show mascara. And I'm also going to put in the No Shock by YSL. These are amazing mascaras. This one is a little big for me sometimes, like the wand is huge, but it, it, this one is just amazing by YSL. It's that big fat wand. All right, so for powders, um, I... Sorry guys, the phone cut me right off. So I'm gonna use that contour kit and for bronzer, I wanna use that other bronzer, but I'm also gonna throw in the Physicians Formula Bronzer. Oh no, you know what? I've been waiting to use this for a while. I'm gonna throw in the Too Faced Natural Palette. This is so beautiful. And I did a full review, I will link it right here. And then for highlighters, let's go into a highlighter palette. And hmm, what shall we do? You know what, I am going to pull these ones out. They are all the Sephora ones. I want to do a re-review on those, so we're gonna pull those out this week. We already got palettes, and wow, I think that's about it. I'm gonna throw a liquid illuminator in there. I don't always do this. Oh, and you know what? I'm gonna finish my brow kit and then just throw something in at the last minute. I'm gonna use this one in Celestial, and oh yeah, foundation and primer. Oh whatever. I'm going to throw in the, oh, the matte stick by Hard Candy and then the coconut water stick and then the foundation that I'm going to use. Ooh, I want to use the Fenty, but I never, hmm, you know what? I'm going to try using this one again. This is the e.l.f. stick, which I am like out of, but there's so much left in there. And then I'm going to use the tint infusion. All right, guys, I think that's everything. And let's just go to Melissa in the future.